um, this again is very individual, but we can go through sort of an example um, of roughly what the stats are. So to work with easy numbers, let's say that like 12 eggs were retrieved and that's say it's a reasonably average number, but it can vary from one or two eggs to 20 plus eggs, depending on how a woman's responded to treatment. But say for exa example, 12 eggs were retrieved. Of the um, eggs that are collected, you can only use mature eggs for IVF treatment. And on average, about 80% of them will be mature. So that gives you uh, 10 eggs altogether. So the next day you might have 10 eggs um, that are available um, for treatment. Um, of those 10 eggs, you have about 80% of those will fertilize and become embryos. So you've got 12 eggs initially, 10 that are mature, and then eight embryos that have um, developed. Um, the biggest kind of attrition rate comes from day three to day five, sixth blastocyst, where only about sort of 30 to 50% of um, embryos will survive until that point. Um, so that means overall, you probably get about maybe get three or four, if you're lucky, um, good quality blastocysts from 12 eggs that have been collected. So that's a like, rough rule of thumb. Women who are a bit younger maybe are more likely to get more blastocysts based on their egg quality than women who are sort of nearer or past their 40th birthday. Um, so, um, it, and it can vary so much from person to person, but that's on average what will happen in a, an IVF cycle.